Hi developers, subscribers and friends, I'm Stefan Bertosz and welcome to the Force Developers channel. Today's video will be about how to debug a cloud function, a Java cloud function. Why? Because there was a comment in one of my videos, which was called Google Cloud Functions Tutorial. And this question is from, and this question is from line by line. Basically, he is saying that's a great tutorial, but do you know how one might attach a debugger to the process once it's run? I have a Google Cloud function set up in the same way and would like to be able to set breakpoints. I'm using VS Code and have the debugger for Java extension installed, but can seem to get it work. Does it work in IntelliJ? So, I will try to uh, show how to set up this to make it work. And actually there is a one catch uh, or problem. So locally I can make it work. Uh, it's pretty easy. I will show it in the tutorial. But there is a problem if you would like to debug a Java Cloud function on the real GCP cloud. Um, and that's because Cloud Debugger, which you, we you would potentially use, First of all, it's being deprecated. There is uh, already a replacement solution, but even the old or current debugger doesn't support cloud functions, which is pity. Uh, and if you if you would check on the um, GitHub project, I will put the link into the description. There is a guide how to use the. Uh, uh, Java Cloud Debugger, you need to have an agent installed and so on. And of course you cannot install agent on the Java Cloud function. So, the new kit in the block for the debugging is called Snapshot Debugger, but there is again a catch, yeah? So, it's again a debugger which would uh, run on the GCP, but it doesn't support Java agents yet. So, they claim they will implement all the features when until the date basically the cloud debugger will be deprecated so also doesn't work i can show you how to debug the cloud function locally so let's first show it in intellij so let's assume that you have my uh, cloud function project check out locally if not you can see the instructions in the other tutorial but more or less uh, the description for the GitHub project will be in the in the um, description of the video. Anyway, if I want to run it, and it's a Gradle project, I will use the Gradle v or Gradle run function minus p parameter for the target function and the package and the username. And last but not least, you see that's new minus minus debug minus JVM, and we will use the standard debug functionality so let me show let's copy paste this and open the terminal and if i copy paste the whole command there what it will do it will basically use the gradle plugin start it but it will wait until the debug port which is when you use the standard flag 5005 is uh, so it's opened and basically uh, what we need to do we need to create a remote debugger so if you go to the menu uh, debug or edit configurations you can you could create a new remote debug yeah, i will delete the old one click plus then go to remote jvm debug name it as as you like important is the port and that it will modify the command line if you change the port basically then you can click apply okay and from the menu again click debug pick the configuration which you like now the remote debugger started you see it's running on this port and if we would open the terminal again you would see that the cloud function framework started locally and we have this local host 
which is good but we want to see that it's working and we can do some breakpoints so let's say that we want to have a breakpoint somewhere on the beginning like here on this line let's put a breakpoint here and let's open a browser by clicking on the link and you see the get request was immediately triggered and we are in the debugging mode we can step over and debug whatever we like yeah so the debugger is working cool or and of course we can kill the debug session we can kill the terminal and that's it it's so easy so remember if you run the gradle v command or gradle command at the end place minus minus debug minus jvm it will start the debug session then you will open the debug with the profile where you will specify the remote jvm debug and that's it it works like charm and now the same thing in visual studio code so i installed the plugins um, for the debug let's see what is installed debugger for java and some other ones of course but uh, this is this is the important plugin which you need and then of course i have the same project imported and i also did put the break line breakpoint <laughs> into the ide on the same line yeah so we see that it's running and what we also have is we have the um, command line prepared so let's open the same command which is here and let's copy paste it into the terminal so what it will do it will again run the cloud function using the gradle plugin but it will listen on the socket for port 5005 what a surprise and now if we want to really start the debug what we need is we need to configure we need to configure the java debugger so usually you have something like that and i advise you to add a new configuration and search for the java debug attach it will attach something like this type java request attach name java port 5005 i already have this important is and it will complain if you don't have the host name so you can put host name as localhost and it would be sufficient okay after you have this configuration click on the run on the left here and you should be seeing something happening and what we can do is again trigger the localhost yeah you see it's loading and we are already in debug mode so we can step over here is the menu on the top and it works cool or and that's more or less all for the local debug of the cloud function yeah this is all what you need um, so that's all guys thank you for watching if you like the video click uh, on the like button subscribe and so on and of course for the remote debug you need to <laughs> wait and watch the google guys until they implement fully the new cloud debugger thank you and bye bye have a nice day